Welcome back, everyone. It's Stray Fay here with another episode of Harvest Moon. DS cute. All right, it's just gonna be an insane episode where we just stand around the purple sprites and grind. Uh, we might visit Kira today, though. It's been a while since we saw her. All right, let's get to work. I gotta cook some stuff. God, I'm not. I'm not out of that that obligation yet. Milk. Yeah, take a break from crazy life to play some crazy grinding. Uh, I guess we'll still do candy potato because like I'm doing this and I did not check the weather yet. <laughs> Uh, even if it's rain, it's not gonna be useful because I need not a rainy Monday for Marlin. I just hope it's not a storm. Okay. Beautiful sunny day, of course. And of course. Alright, cheese fondue. And then we already have a present for Ricky Boy. That's all such. I should just up it. <laughs> Kinda wanna change my clothes again. Uh. Summery stuff. <laughs> It'll be yellow like the sun. Oh, it seems too yellow. I would never wear something like that too, too bright. It probably wouldn't stay that bright either after going through my washing machine. <laughs> With all the black clothes, just turn everything else gray. After a while, washer, strawberries. There we go. And there we go. All right, all watered. Can't forget about our mushrooms too. Town. Helia by six tenths. Yeah. Someday I'll get <laughs> eleven sprite. Uh, where are my strawberries? All right, in plain sight. There you go, Harvest Goddess. No, oh, it's you, Milan. So you came. I'll accept it. Thank you. By the way, I actually love that offering you gave me. Well, oh, toodles. It's gonna be weird, like after all the excitement. <laughs> After all the excitement of the mini games, because those are like super new and exciting, now we're back to like this. <laughs> it's just. Just talking to sprites for an hour. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry it has to be this way. Oh, don't move. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are you taking that out of your bag, girl? <laughs> we're not. We're not messing with that thing. That took us a while to get. We're just keeping it in our bag for now, but if we're gonna end up dropping it on accident, maybe I should uh, sell it off. That for my shipping list later. For me, my thanks are in order. It's because I'm pressing like RA. As I like how you scroll your items back in the old day. We don't do that anymore. We have a touch screen. I guess it's good in this game. I hate how in like one of the Harvest Moon games, Island of Happiness, they just utilize the touch screen for the sake of utilizing a touch screen. Like, it wasn't really necessary and it just felt clunky. I don't think there are many places where nothing bad happens like here. Right. Yeah. Other boys hanging out in here. Like a million spa-boiled eggs. Love eggs, especially spa-boiled eggs. Man, I can't 
stressed with you because I can't get a rainy day. And a pineapple for a guy. Just trying to top him off. It's a pineapple, is it for me? Thanks, I love it. Yeah, he's at orange now. One more heart level. We'll get, we'll get him before summer's over. I have to figure out when we want to marry him or show off the marriage at least. Then it. No. Then that's it. Really warms you up. This kind of presence is always welcome. Thank you. Hi, Milan. Actually, we, we still got a few more chores. A few more obligations. Boink. Forget about our blasted birds. It's still not at large level. Rub, 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 rub. Good enough. That's already at eight hertz. <laughs> we're, we're good. We're good on Darren. Okay, although I guess topping off would ensure that I will not fail. For God's sake! If I fail the next festival, their days are numbered. <laughs> Okay, I got that green heart really fast. I probably could have gotten it to red if I tried hard enough. That's <laughs> too lazy. He's gonna suds it up more. Alright, super speed! Oh my god, I barely got that. <laughs> that was going pretty hard too. Maybe my maybe if the technique was better, it would be more efficient. Like with the milker, it's sometimes the milker. Streaking it back and forth is a lot better than doing circles. It's not like Pokemon either. We're all happy here. All done and happy, and now we're doing this for the rest of the day. Nearly by six tenths, yeah. All right, well, I hope life is going well. <laughs> Just hanging in there, hanging in there to my next day off. Kind of sad. I won't be able to really do anything with my boyfriend. Um, since he like finally got a new job. Um, and he pretty much took all the hours from like. The other girl that was working there before. Um, we now no longer have any days off together. We just... The last time we had like a day off together would be like Wednesday. But then I, my mom scheduled the dress fitting on Wednesday. And I need to get my bridesmaid's dress like ready and fitted for my sister's wedding. <laughs> Like, ah, and then my boyfriend scheduled a movie and didn't tell me. And then, like, well, you didn't tell me, so I already have a prior commitment. Like, honestly, the dress fitting is not going to take that long. I remember, I don't know, it, it might be long, though, because it's a different lady. But I remember one time I got a dress altered at, like, the drag cleaners. And, like, the lady just, like, boom, boom, had, like, those little safety pin things, just put them in and then like, all right, done, <laughs> give me the dress. All right, you can leave now, you can pick up next week. I'm like, oh, okay, that wasn't, that wasn't that agonizing. <laughs> and of course my boyfriend had to like schedule the movie at the exact same time as my dress fitting. Now he's trying to get matinee prices. It's like, rip. Try to, like, try to like do like a surprise outing without realizing I made a commitment. Feels bad, man, but uh... and yeah, what else am I doing? Barely reading 
What is it, volume 7? I just can't beat. I think I'm on volume, volume 7. I'm on like the third three in one book. And I'm actually surprised that to actually see like new content because. Um. It was following, or the anime was following the manga very closely. Yeah, I was following the manga very closely. I thought it would just kind of follow that trend for like however many volumes until the anime got cancelled. Um, but there's actually a little bit of new stuff. Like when, uh... I don't know if you care about spoilers yet. <laughs> it's like super old. But when, uh, Kyoko, like, finally gets into high school. In the anime, they just kind of brushed it off. Like, okay, she finally did it. And she's happy. And that was... Ooh. Ah, I got the purple sprite! This is my 11th one? I still need to get one more after this. Got Juna, I'm back. Mulan, thank you so much. I'll help you wherever I can. Yay! We got another one! Is he somewhere here, is it you? You're an impatient one. Once I use my healing magic, I can't use it for another 30 minutes. It's so hot. I can't work up enthusiasm to do anything like this. I want to do something fun. We gotta do this 250 more times and we'll be done with the, the purple theme. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, well that's exciting. That's really exciting. Uh, what was I talking about just before? <laughs> talking about Skip Beat. Um, but yeah, there's like an actual... Actual, like, story with, like, the high school. The high school, like... Aspect of Kyoko's life. Not like all happy, there's like actually a bully. I'm just like, oh, this is a character I did not see in the anime. I'm like, I wonder how that's gonna develop. I guess, uh. Yeah, I, I guess they have to do like, they do have to trim stuff out in an anime ad 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 adaptation <laughs> so they can. Um, kind of end the season on, like, a particular note. They're gonna do, like, a 12 or 24 episode season. Yeah, that part just got completely cut out, so I was like, oh. And I can't wait till I get, like, past the anime part, because then after that it's gonna just be completely new. It's really hard to find the books, though. <laughs> it's really hard to find skip beat volumes. The three in ones, at least. I don't want to like start buying individual novels if I'm already like doing the three in ones. I'm like trying to hunt down used copies that are in good con condition. Condition usually varies, but well, I mean, I'm mostly just I'm gonna read it for myself. It's not like I'm gonna sell them later. Well, who knows? Maybe maybe later on in life I might have to give them away, because I can't keep stuff forever. Someone else might want to enjoy the series too. Kinda need to share. To share what I have. I like doing with games too. Like <laughs> letting people letting people borrow games. Although like that can kinda be dangerous. I've been burned before letting people like borrow stuff. Like books or expensive textbooks, especially expensive textbooks. I've had people take those and just like not give them back. It's like kind of disappear. Like, I only let you borrow that for a semester, but now you're gone. And what else am I doing? Since I finished Fire Emblem, I decided to boot up another game. I decided, like, all right. Octopath Traveler, go. <laughs> Insert cartridge, proceed. And, yeah, it doesn't look like it's gonna be that, that heavy of a choice-based game. Um, looks like you're just doing eight individual stories. Um, I don't know why in the trailers they made you think that, like, <laughs> oh, the ending might vary depending on your choices. Like, no, it just seems like it just seems like eight individual stories. Like, your, your first round is just um, gathering up your team, your eight characters, 
And then probably at that point you're leveled up enough to do like the chapter two of each character's story. That seems to be how it's going to progress. Um, let's see, I need to save and then go to bed. Saving over five or one today, I guess. Um, <laughs> I'm happy with the character I picked first though, because uh, the difficulty does spike. Like, all the character prologues don't stay at level one. Um, they do kind of scale up, so you do <laughs> need like kind of a solid party if you're going for your eighth member versus the first member. Oh, well, there's another sunny day. I'm, I'm kind of glad with my first character choice. I picked like a character that like I wasn't really expecting to. I thought I might do like the hunter or something. The huntress. Because she looked cool. And I was like looking at the box art and I was like, alright, you're the merchant, you're the cleric. Like I knew everyone's class and I'm just like, who the heck is this guy with the mohawk? <laughs> so I went for him instead. Like the most unlikely character I would have picked. He was like the apothecary. Maybe it was fitting because I just finished uh, re-watching Shuri Yuke Himi. Himi? Hime? Uh, aka Snow White with the red hair and she was an apothecary or an herbalist in that story. Did I just... I know, okay. This <laughs> is like, did I just blindly pick that? This, yeah, so I guess I'll turn the level 31, 35 ones into seeds and then... And the other ones to make candy potato until... I'm happy with the amount of I have. I gotta scooch closer to the mic. Probably like sound really soft. Yeah, I'm just, I like the apothecary, he's very balanced. My boyfriend warned me against choosing the cleric. You think the cleric could be like it'd be kind of like an obvious choice for your for your uh like leader, party leader, because usually like the cleric or priest has some like Daunting quest. I just think of like briefly default. Anya's is like like to save the crystals. But he said it was so hard to do her prologue like by herself because she was a healing character trying to like take down a boss. Oh, what did I make already? The apothecary was just like that perfect blend of like offense and healing. <laughs> oh yeah, I had, I had an easy time. Like I had like a little bit difficulty on the first boss and then I just like leveled up from level four to five and then like I got another skill that like dealt with poison. I'm like, okay, easy now. It's just child's play. Uh, today's Monday so I don't need any gifts for... Mineral Town boys. It's like I can heal you on seven tenths. Right, please help tomorrow as well. Boys. Ching. <laughs> nope, see Milan, so he came. I'll accept it, thank you. By the way, I actually love that offering you gave me. Well, toodles. Max. So I could probably stop. Okay, put it back on. <laughs> I could probably stop with the uh, harder. And you won't hemorrhage that badly. Nothing can top this. It's for me. Thank you. I thank you kindly. Alright, 
wasn't talking about before. <laughs> Octopath Traveler. Um, what's to be like the the apothecary skill is super useful early game because you can you can acquire like almost everyone and like find hidden items and also helps you uh, do other actions easier as well. Like sometimes you can acquire a certain NPC and like suddenly have greater chance of stealing stuff or a greater chance at challenging people. Which is like super useful overall. You know I like stealing, like early on stealing has a very high chance to fail and your reputation gets ruined if you fail at stealing. Then I got the dancer and I was like, alright, Alert's not that useful, except for moving people out of the way. Then I went for the hunter, which provoke kind of does the same thing as Alert. Just removes NPCs out of the way so you can like get in a building or something. I need it. Where is it? Alright, it's stacking. It's just stacking with the level threes. Oh, I need to put this in the seed maker. And I don't wanna just put this one in too. Oh. Okay, I won't need to bake any candied potatoes for a while. That I wanted to move it. That okay. I was like, is that not allowed? I'm gonna put things in somewhat order. Okay. Three, three, four, and thirty-five. Who knows if I'll need all of these, depending on how much I fill up. Uh, chickens to take care of the chickens. Like I kill you around seven tenths. I saw a very large egg and then I realized it's just the duck egg. <laughs> like, ah, chicken might be mad. She didn't lay anything for me today. Pokemon eggs function like that Pokemon egg looks really big. How did it come out of an Eevee? That looks impossible. And why did it come out of a mammal you think next? <laughs> and all other sorts of weird stuff happens between Pokemon breeding. Why is Vaporeon human type? Sprites. Back to that sprite grid. Just need one more. Drop down. <laughs> I haven't been keeping track since I got the last one. Ah, oh, many, many days. That's what it is. Many, many days. Yeah. All right. Well, it's probably gonna take me a while to beat Octopath, though. I'm not. I'm not even done with like the prologue, aka like the chapter, the first chapter. <laughs> Of the characters. Not even ready to do chapter two. I'm not even ready. I'm not even sure how many chapters each character has, but gotta do it eight times. Yeah, and other than the 
like the new anime that I'm watching this season. Um, just kind of feel like rewatching some old stuff. Um, after I finished Snow White with the red hair, for some reason I've just felt like watching a. Uh, the world only God knows. That's the English title for that one. And man, the opening slaps for that. <laughs> And like a lot of anime openings, I'll just kind of watch it the first time and then skip it after that. But like that opening to that anime, just like is mwah. <laughs> the chef kiss it evokes feelings. Just gets stuck in your head all day. Yeah, it's pretty much about this like otaku who's like completely obsessed with playing dating sims and is really full of himself that he calls himself the god. Capturing god because he can eat any dating sim puts his mind to. And then somehow gets stuck in a contract. <laughs> uh, to capture wandering spirits that get stuck in people's hearts and the only way of getting them out is to romance said person and he's like, wait, I'm the capturing god of video game characters, not real women. <laughs> but he somehow, somehow ends up using like video game logic to, to like woo these women. Like really over the top, but like the characters. Main character is really great. <laughs> yeah, I'm still like super set obsessed with like reading new manga and, and light novels and stuff. I think I might like end up getting more and more light novels like digitally. Um. It's like I have to pace myself or else they hurt my eyes. I might have to like invest in a Kindle. <laughs> it's not it's kinda nice not having like all that space taken up. But then again. There's always my gripe with like some like Kindle stuff or like if you lose your account or like for some reason there'll be some excuse that like the service will have to shut down and then you'll lose all your digital content. <laughs> I always like worried about that too. Your whole collection is just gone. Like how Nintendo just decides they're not gonna support the eShop anymore on the old console. You're like, well, I better not like uninstall any of these games or else I'm never gonna get them back. <laughs> trouble with like some of the light novels I was reading um, digitally too because uh, some light novels will just have like a random like picture somewhere and I don't know the application that I was reading it from it kept cutting out the picture like halfway I was like does that do does it do that with manga like that must suck <laughs> that must suck if you're just trying to like exclusively read manga digitally like, even Kindle is just, like, messing it up. Like, that's a paid... a paid service. You have to... to like, align your margins right, please. Like, one thing you have to worry about with, like, physical stuff. Like, oh, there's no gutter space for, like, the manga or something, so the picture's just, like, totally wrong. And the manga used to be, like, published in a magazine, and now it's a book, and... They didn't compensate that the book would have a spine that would kind of squish the pages together. <laughs> oh my god, this is taking forever. I'm not even keeping good track either. Uh 
I am interested in reading some, like, older light novels, too, and I know this, like... When I try to go for older stuff. <laughs> like, they'll have- they'll have copies of, like, certain volumes, and then, like... Other stuff. They don't ever bring it back in stock, so you're kinda, like, stuck. Not being able to proceed the story, but at least with, like, digital stuff, they have little reason to, like, take it off. Like, it's not like they're producing... They need to, like, produce another physical copy. They can just leave the digital copy somewhere forever. That might be, like, an option for, like, older series that happen to be on Kindle. Alright, well, another day down. <laughs> I also forgot to keep checking the beach. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm never gonna get this cutscene. Random event. Ta -da. Just got so excited that I found a sprite. And I forgot everything else. Save on this. I do probably. I should probably scum a Thursday. A Thursday for rain. Sure, it's not stormy. But it'll be a nice sunny day. Are there any festivals coming up? It's a week. Alright, so we got a full week that we could probably try to scum a rainy day and then not have any luck and then just re at the game. <laughs> Let's cook. Let's cook a look. Hot milk is done. No more candied potato. So it's another day where no Mineral Town boys are visiting. Sorry, Karen. We're not giving you any bamboo shoots. <laughs> like we're doing in the boy version. <laughs> yeah, I just I just settled for bamboo shoots for Karen because it's easy 500 love, love point gift. Otherwise, her favorite gift is pizza. I'm like, I don't want to make pizza. <laughs> Too many steps. Yoink. Go. My yams are done. Harvest. Level them up again. For all eternity! Seven tenths. I gotta make sure you're hired out for the next week. But guys probably are. You're rare that you ain't. I haven't seen Milan, so you came. I'll accept it, thank you. By the way, I actually love that offer you gave me. Toodles! I don't do you anymore, Carter. <laughs> I don't wanna play with you anymore. Yep, this kind of present is always welcome. Hello. Hello, Mustafa. That's supposed such a weird name. And it always tries to like correct it to like Gustav or something. Every time I try to type it out, like Mustafa, what the heck is that? Rock. 
is a legitimate name. There's <laughs> Roku. Japanese just like sounds weird in English, like rock. Daily pineapple. Really eat a pineapple a day. <laughs> Loves it so much you can just eat it every day. I feel like that could probably make someone sick. Just eating an entire pineapple every day. Oh, it's his birthday. <laughs> that that got him to red. I boosted him. Alright, so we probably just need a few more a few more gifts and then like we could probably stop going Griffin next. Put the brakes on him. Oh my god, there's weeds everywhere. Mushroom is. Again, I gotta like wait for this one to grow. Gotta be patient. <laughs> Going on 37. Die, weed. I'll sell that. Maybe I can get another witch princess present. Thinking of farm degree, still an apprentice. Alright, just have to had to check. My fall floor. Put the fall floor first, because that's like the most important one, I feel like. The one that we've been dedicating <laughs> the most effort to. The level's up the fastest. Go. One there. Okay, my nose is like plugged up now. What else is new? <sighs> Smell. Smell colors. again and then take care of my animals. Same old shenanigans. Chicken is happy again, laying eggs. I'm constantly getting barked at by dogs or something, so like never quite never quite makes it. Get the green, there we go. Never quite makes it full eight hearts. Seven. Still, you're still eight. You still love me. He's like probably still backed up. Okay. Looks like I can heal you about seven tenths. So close to 97. We're so close to 101. That final, that final grind. Looks like I can heal you around seven tenths. I visit Kira. I just wanna make sure I have these guys working for the next week. Double check. Let's have got plenty of lumber. Eleven lumber. from all this heat day after day. Alright, so they are working tomorrow. We'll just have to update them tomorrow. Well, work another week. 
I'm not sure when to make them stop because I might need to utilize either the watering team unless I plan it out where I can water the crops myself with the mystic can. I might need to do the harvesting team. <laughs> I'm in the right place, right? Yeah, we're doing the third mine. Gotta say hi to Kira. Can't forget about her. <laughs> we're not quite, we're not quite done with her. Not quite maxed out with her. Save our file one. Back to the shenanigans. At least, um, don't take us as long to get. A, a mining session because we're only going to floor 255. We have no obligation to go deeper to find accessories anymore. That job is done. It's like quite a pitfall trap. On this floor, I want to get some more progress. stairs, which we might have to go down because I don't see an easy pitfall trap. So next! God, now I'm trapped. Trapped between a rock and a hard place. Sorry, Chicky. Alright, game. You gotta drop me down, like, <laughs> significant floorage. Not really. Here it is. 94, I'll take it. Yeah, 94 body tries. What are the odds? Go away. Here we go. Yawning at work. Merge together. Uh, gotta make sure my stuff is dry though. I have to get to the habit of washing my pillowcases like more often because my cat refuses to not sleep on my head. Like that is her spot now. And I barely get any pillow now. I should, I should probably just assert dominance and like kick her off. might seem like the mean thing to do, but I want my, like, I want my sleep back. Looks like no pitfall, really. Not in a convenient spot. Chicken. The ultimate showdown with the chicken first. I'm trying so hard not to get sick, too. <laughs> like, Alright. I feel the sniffles coming on. Take allergy meds. Probably from the cat. She's not getting me as bad as a reaction anymore. Now whenever I visit Igor, it's like... Oh, touch him? Touch my eye? Oh, crap. I'm just miserable for the rest of the day. <laughs> 70? I'll take it. fall. Any rocks. 256! Well, it got really close. Where was the pitfall? Right, right in front of that rock. Alright. Uh, 
way. Make way. I want to just get rid of the bug hat. Watch it, like, punch me. <laughs> In my hubris. It punted into the hole after preparing. Not saving. Four. 38. That's pretty good, but still more floors than I want to bother digging down. Fifty-one. I'll take it. Drink, drink before you get stripped. Now we gotta find the stairs. Not go down a hole. And probably not gonna find the stairs because okay, <laughs> the stairs is next to the other stairs. Good thing I just went back up to check. I don't like putting them in opposite corners. That'd be the trend. Covered rather. Gotta slay all the monsters. Here. Oh god, chicken. Just didn't realize I unleashed the beast. The butterfly very slowly. Oh. Oh, Kira. Come bearing lumber. Hum, hum, hum. She seems really happy. Friendship went a little bit down because I haven't seen her in a bit. All right, that's it. This is back up. We go. Don't have to go that deep anymore. Okay. Now what? Now we gotta do more sprites. They're probably charging. Like I can heal you on seven tenths. Yeah. Cutscene if it triggers. Mommy. No rock. No rock on Tuesdays. He doesn't bother to come. <laughs> he varies his schedule. He, ha he has a schedule for some reason. Nice year with Lumina today on a date. Relax when I come here. In life, you gotta spend some time just daydreaming. In your case, all the time. Well, I want you to try daydreaming instead of working for a bit. That was his whole bit in, a, in another wonderful life. He's like, oh, blah, 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 work is horrible. Like, ah, I'm so wise. I guess you're not working, but at the expense of others, Rock. <laughs> not the same. Right, credit. Crack of the time. Every 30 minutes. Eva. 
seven tits. They could almost heal us. Do a full heal on us if they want. 100% just seems like rather unnecessary though. <laughs> Are you really gonna need a full 100? Are you really gonna work until you're just like one swing away from passing out? Like, alright, it's time to go to my purple sprite. Some different music. <laughs> where's the where's the music channel? Is it five? Yeah, that's the music channel. Eat a bit. Seven tenths. Yeah, one's text boxes. You're not ready yet. Juna, how'd you get over here? It's so hot. That can heal you around seven tenths. Music records, they're locked behind like marriage. Although the ones at the bottom, they're locked behind uh, you have the mineral tail cartridge. <laughs> yeah, I like totally f like forgot where the, the last uh, music records come from because usually I don't get to the point where I, I get married in this game. <laughs> it's like so focused on like collecting sprites that I'm like never sure like who I want to marry. Like, it just stops being the game. <laughs> Marriage stops being the goal. It, Marriage is kind of neat in this game that, in that your child actually goes through multiple stages other than toddler. Although it does kind of suck that like he's just like another NPC with just like a few lines of dialogue. <laughs> it's still not as involved as uh, a wonderful life's child. Like when people talk about like, oh, what are games like good games where your child grows up? They always mention this one. And I was like, yeah, he gets the teen, but not much different than toddler, honestly. <laughs> like he doesn't really change much. No, nothing could ever top a wonderful life. Animal Parade was pretty good. That, like, you could have two kids. I mean, they helped you up on the farm, too, if you asked them to, but it, it just kind of boiled down to, like, simple chores. Or, like, very, very basic income increase. It wasn't that exciting, and a lot of times it didn't work out. They didn't work very well. Will I get my- will I ever get my break? And rice to stardom. What? What? Did you hear me? This will be our little secret. Juna has a little secret. He wants to be a star. Wants to reach for the stars. Become a celebrity. Alright, we can afford one more. Then we'll go to bed. Enough for me to heal you by 70%, right? Not quite. <laughs> what do you mean, not quite? Alright. I can warp it. Yeah, the music kind of sucks that it does that every time you use a teleport stone. Which kind of makes playing music a little worthless. Uh, I guess I should put some stuff away. It's junk ore. Silver. Alright, so I, I guess we're end off a little early. 
I mean, it's it's good that we reached a milestone in getting our 11th purple sprite, so we just have one more to go. Um, and then we'll be done with the purple sprite team, and then it's just... Just grinding blue, and then... Yeah, we're, I feel like we're almost done. Holy cannoli! It's, it's coming so fast! Alright, I actually might need to, like, condense a lot of these uh, cutscenes together. Alright, anyway. Um, since we didn't get any... Like random events this episode will of course include one from the boy version. Um, I think did we finish Nami last time? I think we did finish Nami last time. So after Nami, I was planning to show off Lumina because even though she wasn't a part of the initial Wonderful Life uh, Bachelorette trio, she was available. Um. On the special edition as a candidate, so yeah. Let's see, I'll see Lumina after after Nami. All right. Well, I hope you guys had a relaxing time, and I'll see you around. Okie doke. So, from a very small bracket of time between 7:30 p.m. and 8 p.m., we can get. Lumina's Black Heart event. Both of you, stop it. Seems to be an argument between these two ladies. You be quiet. Yeah, be quiet. Oh. <laughs> Lumina, you're just like your grandma. I'm so sorry. What, what did Sebastian do? Grandma, I put up with it until now, but let me say it. You have some complaint? Uh oh, showdown. Ah, wa 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 wa. Um. Oh, Talon, you've come at a good time. Uh oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a good time for you or for me? <laughs> These two started fighting and I can't put a stop to it. Please help me. Uh... Talon, we're in the thick of it. Keep quiet. Yeah, keep quiet. Maybe you should just let him duke it out. Until <laughs> huh? What started it? Yes, it's not going to blow over if we keep doing this. We'll tell Talon, and he can judge whose fault it is. That's okay, right, Grandma? Fine, let's do that. I'm worried about Grandma's health, so today I've prepared a present for her. And I gave it to her. She was so happy until she looked in the box. But... When she looked inside, she got really mad. What'd you get her? <laughs> what were you thinking? You can't give me a present like that? <laughs> was it a black dress? I don't know. What? It's rude! I just didn't want your back to hurt. That's why I got you a back support. Oh, okay. I think something completely different, like some sort of massager <laughs> or vibrator. A back support is what old people use. You are old people. I am certainly not that old. You're old enough. And you're like all hunched over and everything. Oh, Lumina! Ah, uh, whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Stop being Yoshi, Sebastian. Mm. Well, Talon, who's in the wrong? Please answer. Uh, <laughs> it's Lumina, Ravana. <laughs> oh. 
Or Sebastian. <laughs> um, let's blame it on a third party. <laughs> blame Sebastian. <laughs> huh? You, y yes, that's right. Everything's my fault. <laughs> so, so please, Miss Romana, Miss Lumina, please stop fighting and make up. I, I wasn't serious. I, I'm sorry. Okay, maybe that that response just made them see how silly this whole thing is. I'll show deference to Sebastian this time and take the present. Thank you. That's great. See, now everyone's happy. I'm sorry, I put you in the middle of something strange. That was strange indeed. I've done wrong to Sebastian as well. Thanks to your quick thinking, you saved us. Thank you so much. Alright, <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> Alright, so that was, uh, Luminous Black Heart event. I hope you enjoyed it. That was, uh, that was pretty long. Alright, anyway. Toodaloo!